As everybody likely knows, the song Bandit was originally just a longer version of what came out, and it was just Juice World. And he recorded the song when he was in Atlanta, I believe. An NBA Youngboy had heard the unreleased song and hit up Juice World to be on it. Now, this was at a point in time when NBA Youngboy was at the beginning or the mid, I'd say more towards the beginning of his tear as like the most viewed nigga on YouTube, like musician. He was like the king of YouTube for a period of time. He probably still is, but he doesn't, he's not pulling as much as he used to right now at the moment. But this was peak Youngboy or mid peak Youngboy or at the beginning of the peak of Youngboy. So Youngboy wanted to get on the song. He liked the song because obviously it was a great song. Boy, it is a great song. So young boy hit up Juice World and he got on the song. And then Juice World went to Louisiana where young boy was on house arrest and did the music video with Cole Bennett in the swamp. And then they went to NBA Youngboy's house. Now this song was such perfect timing because Juice World was obviously blowing up. Like he was, he was already it. He was already that nigga. This was obviously a little towards the end of his career. So he was already super mainstream right now. Plus the combination of them because Youngboy was also unbelievably popular at the time. He still is like, he still is popular as hell, don't get me wrong. But this was when Youngboy was just trending, trending, trending on YouTube and everything. Getting unbelievable views. So I believe this song was just a perfect storm. And obviously Juice fucking killed that song. And Youngboy had a solid verse on it as well. Some people hate on Youngboy in the song, but the song would not have been as big without Youngboy. It was the perfect collaboration at the perfect time. Now, I do believe the unreleased version of Bandit. I really like Juice's second verse. I wish when they put, I see why they cut that out because it makes the song shorter and more repeatable. Like you can just play the song a bunch of times, but I do wish there was some sort of extended version that is released where it has all the extra Juice verses in it. I actually created my own version. I have it on my Apple Music, but obviously I can't like make it available unless I put it on my YouTube. But where I went through and edited it all, like where every single part that his unreleased verse, I added it plus the young boy part, like edited it all in. And it was like, I took a lot of time to do it. So it sounds really good. You can't even tell that it's edited like that. But yeah, I think the song just came out at the perfect time and it was the perfect collaboration. It's 999 releases and I'm out.